Well, it's the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, that the people of Wellsburg and many people across the northern panhandle have been waiting for. We have that live look of the Wellsburg Bridge floating along the Ohio River. Take a look at this. This is certainly not something you see every day. It just, you know, setting sail, if you will, here in the last few minutes, making its way to its final destination. Now, we had been covering this earlier in the broadcast, but just to bring everybody up to speed, this bridge has actually been sitting along the Ohio River in Wellsburg for several months as crews constructed it. And today is the day, as you can see, it's floating down the Ohio River to its permanent destination. It will reach its piers in Brilliant. At some point this morning, my understanding is it does have to float for about a mile. Our sister station, WTOV, reporting that once it reaches its destination, the bridge will turn 90 degrees, then it will be pushed upriver and positioned, ready for lifting into place. Now, it's our understanding Understanding that the sailing, if you will, again, that part, the floating, that is just today. The placement will actually be tomorrow. But again, we are going to continue to cover this situation there in the northern panhandle. We'll have much more coming up on Fox 11 at 7 o'clock. Facebook, Alex Taylor here live on the scene of the brilliant Wellsburg Bridge. I'm standing underneath what will be the permanent home. If you take a look, these are coming off the sides. We are on the brilliant side this morning and just behind me, right in the side. Sunshine. There it is. The bridge is floating down the river. I will tell you, this is happening so much faster than we expected it. There are four barges carrying the bridge. I'm going to get a little closer to give you the best look that I possibly can this morning. $140 million project that many have been waiting decades, years for it to come to fruition. If you're from the Ohio Valley and you're watching right now, tell me how long you've waited for a bridge to be put here because the stories that I've been told are wild, the length of time. So, I'm gonna give you a peek through some of the area that we're standing on right now. There's the bridge, it's making its way down. Once again, it's on four barges this morning, heading down. Of course, the sun is shining, so it does make it difficult to see, but we are underneath its permanent home here. This is a close-up look at what it looks like underneath coming from the brilliant side. And then of course, the Wellsburg side on the other side of the river this morning. I do have a really fun fact to share with you all as well. This lift is going to be the heaviest and largest bridge lift in North American history. So when they do officially lift that bridge up and it's coming up here soon, traveling way faster than we expected it this morning. It's only been on the water for about, I'd say about an hour and a half at this point, and it's already traveled nearly the mile that it had to travel to get down to this point. So once again, there it is again from what you can see, but it's making its way down. They're saying in about 10 minutes, they're going to have it kind of spinning into location. The West Virginia DOH and ODOT workers are making their way down as well as flat iron workers preparing for this day. They've been working on this bridge for two years. I remember covering the press conference when it was officially announced with Governor Jim Justice. Many of those people had been waiting, like I said, decades for a project of this nature to come to fruition. So some project managers are making their way through right now, and they are preparing for that twist in the bridge. We do have Sky View 9 in the air as well. So if you take a look and you want to get a really good picture of the bridge floating down the river, there's a couple of previous Facebook Lives from this morning showing that, as well as our live reports that we'll have all morning long and on News 9 Mid day as well. You can see just in the time that we've been on here, there is the bridge. It's traveling closer. So once again, I'm asking, yes, thank you for answering my question, everyone. If you have lived in the Ohio Valley, how long have you waited for this bridge to come to fruition? Some say decades, some say years, some say they never thought it would happen, but it's officially happening. It's happening here this morning. Now, I will tell you this as well. The end date for the actual bridge to be usable because there's a lot of work to be done once it gets to this site is going to be the tail end of 2022. But they have stayed online with their timeline up until this point. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Coming up on air, turn on your channels this morning, Channel 9. We are on News 9 on Fox 9 this morning, Sunrise. So check it out. We'll bring you another live report coming up here soon.